what is up? I got this Ford Escape with the EcoBoost. I'm still trying to figure out if it has an internal or external blow-off valve. Get up here next to this brick wall. I figured it's internal, where it just bypasses, you know, the pressure side back to the inlet side of the turbo, but when I was by the wall, I had the window down a little bit earlier, I heard it relief. You can hear something. So if it's external, it's like not real loud. It's, it might be under and behind the engine. You can hear it a little. <laughs> Today's the first time I actually ever could actually hear the turbo on this thing, but I've been driving with the windows up and the AC on, so it's hard to tell. It's not something I got to modify and it's already making about 120 horsepower per liter so it's not something you're gonna mess with because that's pushing an engine hard already it's designed for it though yeah. when I put that turbo on that Saturn little Saturn engine I had the 1.9 dude that uh, blow off valve was loud it was like whoosh, and it was just a cheap plastic one off like a Volvo or something on a junk car that was a low buck car project car. I had about a thousand bucks into it. The whole turbo project. And it was a nice little sleeper too. <laughs> it's not screaming fast or anything, but it definitely gets out of its own way. And you know, when it's a little cooler out, it seems to take off pretty quick. Probably quicker from a dead stop than my Durango did. On a top end, our minivan might be a little faster. It seems like a Ford pulls a little bit of power out of this engine. In the, in the upper RPMs, <laughs> which you'd expect it the other way around, but you don't even really feel like it's a turbo car. It just feels like it's a bigger engine because it has power right away and mid-range power, you know, and uh, it doesn't like keep picking up power. You can't feel it pick up towards the top end, but that's usually a uh, aspect of a normal engine where, you know, it's cammed, you know, in profile and everything to where it has power up high and it sucks down low. Then you feel that pull on the top end. This engine has they're all their EcoBoost engines have low end torque, so you just feel it right away. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, maybe I could turn this traction control. I wonder if you could do it from here. USB, please say a command. Yeah, command for the USB. Yeah. I don't know if you can. I know this is USB. like context sensitive. The Microsoft Sync. And depending on what mode, like if you're in phone and you hit the little voice command and it's talking to the phone. If I'm in media, it's doing whatever media I'm using, like the USB. You stick it, it's pretty cool. You stick the USB dry right down on there, man. Inside here, right next to my Glock 19. <laughs> anyway, that little USB thing right there, see if it blinks. I may be blinking with that, but anyway, yeah, it's cool. You put all your music right there, access it through here. And I just have it on play all, but you can go to artists or whatever. Go down there and pick albums. And there's all sorts of different stuff in here. So, my button usually takes it back. I like having the buttons here or there. I can pause it and unpause it right here. Do voice command. Pretty cool. Go to Bluetooth, go to USB. All that stuff's right there. And this thing's pretty cool. Oops, hit the wrong button. I like that display where it shows everything. I've been hot rodding it. I dropped it from 21 down to 20 miles per gallon. Maybe I should turn the traction control back on. Driver assist. I actually think I'm just going to leave that off right now. It, this thing, when it spins the tire, it seems to uh, take engine power away as well as, you know, hitting the brake on the tire that's slipping. It's what front wheel drive traction control usually does. But it takes it takes the throttle because it's drive-by wire so it takes your throttle away when you spin the tire and I'm like dang it I want it to keep going so yeah it's just a daily driver it's supposed to be cheap on gas so it's not supposed to be my race car <laughs> it's just okay you know as far as power a little sleeper probably now that I'm not driving the Mustang daily I just de-insured it and I've got it in the driveway and I'm gonna pull the engine on it and start piping in the turbo and it will mean some business speaking that what the hell does she want what do you want don't pull on the handle like that open the door what do you want to let go of the handle what do you want 
It's McDog food, don't touch it, that's poison. I just got it because I was desperate, I was hungry. Mm. 